Okay. Okay. Hello, my name is Jonathan. This is Noodle. He's awake. And this, this is very precarious. So I'm currently balancing my phone on something that is not stable. So if it falls over, just kind of roll with it. Um, anyway, Noodle, I had to sort of change around the positioning of where I usually film these um, to accommodate him. Um, and also, uh, my drink, which I don't really need, I didn't really need to accommodate that, I just have it with me. Um, I'm drinking out of a Wicked cup um, from the smash hit Broadway musical Wicked by Stephen Schwartz, which tells the untold story of the Witches of Oz. Anyway, uh, I am recording this video tonight because I was alone, I still am, alone in my apartment, and I made myself a little drink, and I was doing Noodle's Eye Drops, um, uh, who is conscious, I swear. I was doing Noodle's Eye Drops, and then I started reorganizing his medicine cabinet, and then I sort of had like this That's So Raven sort of moment where I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I'm, I'm organizing my geriatric pugs medicine cabinet and drinking alone. So I figured I might as well film it. Uh, and kind of walk through what is in Noodle's medicine cabinet. What happened? <gasps> He's vigilant. That's what that means. So I'm going to walk through what's in his medicine cabinet. And uh, I very well may have to give him some eye drops at some point during this. Um, but I hope from this video you can take away some key tips on uh, elder pug maintenance. Um, and some insight into what it is to take care of an old dog. So the first thing we're going to start off with are the ears. This is an ear cleansing solution that I got from my vet. All of this I got from the exact same vet. I absolutely love her and I am certain that I am single-handedly keeping the lights on at that place. Um, not because they don't have business, but because they basically have a main line to my bank account. Uh, this is an ear cleansing solution that cleans, dries, and deodorizes. So what happens is pugs, a lot of squishy faced dogs and dogs in general just get ear infections all the time. And Noodle is an absolute champion with pain. Uh, you wouldn't know it based on the way that he acts around things that don't actually hurt him. Like one time he got an x-ray done and it sounded like he was being lobotomized. And I ran out of the office of my vet and was like, what's happening to my dog? And they were like, literally nothing. Literally, we did not do anything. Um, so he's very dramatic, but he also would chew on a bone when he had 12 dead teeth in his mouth. So I have no idea when this dog is in any pain. He doesn't tell me. He only lets me know when he's suffering from ennui or misery, but not pain. Anyway, this is here for his ear infections, which happen probably once a year. Um, and it's, oh, he stuck his tongue out. No, you stuck your tongue out, sweet man. Okay, he's out. Uh, and it's great. It's nice to have those nice clear ears. He can hear stuff a little better. Woo, sorry. This is, it's not strong, uh, but it is coming from a vessel that is all about what really happens on the yellow brick road. Well, I'm sure that's contributing to it. So the next thing we've got in the medicine cat, what are we gonna do? How am I gonna do this? We just did ears. We're gonna do ears, then we're gonna do eyes, then we're gonna do butt, then we're gonna do stomach. Okay, so eyes are next. So here are his droppies. So Noodle has three different kinds of droppies uh, because, and I don't know actually what it's called, but he's got some kind of like conjunct uh, something or other in one of his eyes. I feel, I feel so bad because for the longest time I thought it was allergies because he's just like a goopy, like he's just goopy. Um, but it's a thing. So I have these two eye drops. I could not, if someone put a gun to my head and said, Jonathan, tell me what these eye drops do outside of just help his eye, I would tell him to shoot because I have no idea. However, I do know that I have to put both of these in before I put this in. Now, these eye drops, from what I do understand, are supposed to help lubricate the eye, which, Noodle, pay attention. We're filming about you. He's so sweet. Which lubricate the eye, and then this I have to apply as a half inch, not half inch, a, a quarter inch strip over his eye only after I've applied these. Um, I didn't ask why, I just, my vet looked at me and said, do this. And I was like, well, okay, I won't think, I won't really, you know, I'll just, yes and. Um, great, he's doing fine. Okay, so those are what I have to put in his eyes. I only have to do it in his left eye like twice a day. 
because I have nothing else to do with my time. Um, okay, that goes there. And I, what did I do? I said eyes, butt, eyes, butt, and stomach. So now we're going to do butt. So this poor man, he had to have a polyp removed from his colon last year, uh, which was disgusting. But uh, he did it, and I was very happy to max out a credit card for it. And he's so much better now. You can tell that he's really just taken to life. Um, and he, he really has, you know, he is a carpe diem kind of dog. And I think that's really apparent here. But his, his, his butt has needed some real maintenance since then. So I have, the first thing I have is for like an every day if things get bad, uh, I have a cortisone cream, a generic cortisone cream that I got from, I almost said from Netflix. I wait, one day, you know it'll happen one day. Netflix currency for cortisone cream for your itchy asshole. Uh, I bought it from Dwayne Reed um, and it's generic. I don't need to buy high price stuff for my son. I spent $6,500 cleaning out his asshole. He does not need top shelf itch cream. However, it did really help and you have to look into exactly what kind of itch cream to give them. Cause like I, at first I was like, I'm gonna give them calamine lotion and you're not supposed to give dogs calamine lotion but the reason you're not supposed to give dogs calamine lotion is because they'll lick it off wherever you put it but noodle can not he can barely you know lick his thigh like he can barely scratch his face with his leg he's not the most acrobatic um so i wasn't worried about it and this they also said was fine so i i, I can't imagine that he was allowed to eat it but he also didn't and it comes with aloe um so that's what i gave him when i didn't have meds for his butt and now i have meds for his butt so i have um, no, that's his eye loop. Where's his other butt stuff? Oh my God, wait, don't go anywhere. I forgot some of his butt stuff. I'm not wearing pants. Where's the curious? Oh my God, okay. Oh my God. I totally forgot. So, Noodle, was he, <laughs> did he, was he phased at all? No? Okay, I didn't think so. He never is. So, uh, this is butt stuff. So, Noodle, once again, his poor butt. Oh, what a sweet, precious man. Um, this kind of goes on, like, the tail, like, right above the little swollen asshole of of my little swollen asshole. Isn't that right, sweet man? Um, this, he's got, like, a little skin irritation right above it, and it's kind of always been there since I got him, but he now, the thing is, he'll just kind of scoot, and it's it's hilarious and devastating. Because then he'll kind of like, not yelp, but he'll just be in this really, really weird looking position with like his, it's, we're here to help. So he has these two things that go right above his butt. So this is, I'm also, now it just hit me that I'm like, my front door is right there. And these doors, although they are made of metal and I have two locks on them, I feel safe all the time. They are paper thin. Uh, outside of like the metal and I just wonder what they're thinking my neighbors are thinking um, anyway so this is butt stuff this is uh, I call it blue I don't know what it is uh, it's a it's a chlorhexidine solution uh, otherwise known as as the blue thing uh, and I put the blue thing on before I put the entoderm ointment on which is an antifungal cream so what happens is this helps to cleanse and this helps uh, with the antifungalness of what's happening there. And I'm gonna take a little segue from the butt. Oh, I gotta, sorry, my battery's running low. I had to segue from the butt. And now I'm also gonna say, this is for his face. I use this for both right above his asshole and right in his facial folds. Uh, once again, cleansing and antifungal because if you're a geriatric dog owner or a pug owner or a squish. Sorry, you guys, I'm just like burping because I'm drinking, but maybe this will help. Uh, he gets a lot of yeast trapped in his precious little angel face, which is not my favorite. I wish it were gold or like, uh, like an Amazon gift card, but it's yeast. So I have to take care of it. And this is really good uh, for that. And uh, I also love it because I've had this forever. Um, uh, I don't I don't know what, I, I feel like this is something that I've, I've had like eight of these since I've gotten him. 
Uh, but this one in particular, I've had for like six months and I love it. And I hope there's no expiration date on it. Oh my God, I didn't even think about that until right now. Whatever, I have it. Um, and this is for both his butt and his face, which is just like a very economical thing. I appreciate that. Um, oh, we, oh my God, now we can do a stomach. So this, these are his little, um, I forget what they're called. It's a probiotic. He's got a little probiotic that I put in his food because I got this on the day that he ate half of a bird. Um, I don't know if you know this, but Noodle at one point, he's a four teeth in his mouth. It's like it's four teeth in his mouth. I had them all ripped out because they were all dead. And then I asked if I could keep them to make into a necklace. And they said no. But this is what I gave him after he swallowed half a bird. I got fried chicken one night. I got a wing, a drumstick, a thigh, and a breast. I ate them all. I had tequila. I went to bed. I left them in a little bag in their container on the coffee table. This four tooth dog somehow found his way into it and ate it all, and my vet was doing the x-ray, which earlier when I mentioned that he felt, he sounded like he was being lobotomized, it was exactly for this exact thing. And I was, she was looking at the x-ray and she goes, oh my God, look, yeah, there are the ribs. And I go, noodles? And she goes, no, 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 the birds. So he thankfully ingested them all safely, but I needed to give him this to help the rest. And I can't help but think that this also may have affected his, his butt. I don't know if it's just a chain reaction with this animal, but he is uh, an absolute joy. He's the light of my life. Noodle, get up. Noodle, get up. I'm gonna move the camera to him really quick. Oh, I forgot. Move the camera to him really quick. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Squish prince. Um, anyway, that is Noodle's medicine cabinet. I realized that um, that's really all that I talked about. But if you have, oh no, I didn't even mention the lube that I have for his eyes. Yeah, you, you perked right up when I said that, didn't you? Look at the tongue, he won't let me poke it, watch. Oh, you will! Oh. <gasps> See, that's what he normally does. Let me poke the tongue, let me poke the tongue. No, he doesn't let me poke the tongue, but he does let me lubricate his eyes. Uh, 